Welcome back to Hollow Knight, everyone. Uh, at the end of the last episode, in the comments, I was enlightened by people that there is actually a closer bench to this boss, which I kind of had a feeling there would be a closer bench to this boss. I just didn't, you know, commit or whatever. So anyways, welcome back to Hollow Knight. In this episode, we are going to really try making progress. In fact, not really try. We will make progress because what I'm going to do is if I like, get really, really stuck, I'll just start cutting, use the magic of editing and be really glad that I'm not streaming this game because that would be embarrassing being stuck on this boss. <laughs> you know, embarrassing, I say, kind of half jokingly. Uh, being stuck is part of the fun, isn't it? Uh, sometimes, so... Fuck. It's been a while since I've played again, which, you know, it's kind of how it always goes. I'm really hoping the main advantage of the other bonfire is that we... I swear that thing, like, intercepts you. It's kind of insane. Um, the main advantage is that we won't have to go through these tri-shot assholes. Look at the range on them. There's no other way to talk about these enemies other than that they're assholes. Apparently it's here. Somewhere. They said it's here somewhere. Oh shit. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. See, I came in here. I remember coming in here. I just didn't like... Naisu. Wanderer's Journal. We can sell that. It's like a nice little tent. It's not even a tent. It's a yurt. I think that's a yurt. I mean, last summer, I went on holiday with family slash friends at the end of August, and we stayed in a yurt. It wasn't like, you know, we weren't like out in the wilderness. It was just like one of those fun things, it's like Airbnb, you know, you go to like the unique destinations, uh, and you, you can find like a bunch of crazy shit, including said yurt. Oh man, I feel so much better about this. I feel so much better. I technically did farm up a shit ton of... Holy... Okay, please don't freeze. Yeah, I think... People say this is a hard boss though. Oh shit. Yeah, this is gonna be attempt number one, which is gonna be a fail attempt. Yeah. First of all, I realize I need to turn down my TV a bit more. Actually, no, we're good. I feel so much better about being here in close proximity. I see. I I had a feeling that this run back was like suspiciously dickish. Uh, I had a slight suspicion. The only thing that sucks about this is that we won't be able to charge up our. Uh, energy in advance okay let's concentrate because please tell me that that dealt damage to her oh I don't have enough Such a dick move. She auto-corrects too. Sorry, I'm I'm like legit concentrating. I did not mean to do that. 
Speaking of concentrating. I spend all my like butt hash on. Oh shit. Don't tell me she doesn't like intercept you. Okay. I got over her parry. She is le legit insanely difficult. Like legit insanely difficult. People said this about her. Uh, yeah. Apparently she's like a massive obstacle. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is we'll give it one more attempt. And then we'll start editing. It's like, again, you have to play perfectly. That's like, I had the same feeling with those armored dung beetles, you know. It's like, the game actually allows you normally to make some mistakes. But with this boss, it's literally... You have... X minutes. I, I don't know how long this boss is. And you have no room for error. Okay. She's like unbelievably good at intercepting you. Okay, this is the best I've done. People say, people said, not one of the tips I said, I read, I said, but I'll say it, is not to attack her during her like, uh, when she's like switching phases. Because it actually gives you one of the few chances to heal. Intercept. Shit. Don't screw up now. No! I'm dead. That was my best attempt by far. That was my best attempt by far. How long is this fight? That felt like that went on for like half an hour. Um, that was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy. Okay. After this attempt, I'll like... Switch to editing magic. Man, this boss fight is crazy. I did like fairly well that time around. Oh, come the fuck on. Well, it's time to go back. Okay, editing magic. I think it's gonna start right now. Okay, that's a key. Not to miss the initial charge. You get some like good free damage in. God, her ability to intercept is, like, actually insane. No! No! Shit! I accidentally pressed. I thought I had to heal. Realized I was at full HP. But... Okay, let's not lose focus. Okay. 
This is where she gets really difficult. She starts spawning this shit non-stop. This is the best I've ever done. How much HP does she have? Oh, is she dead? She's not dead. She has another phase? Holy fuck. Why does she have another phase? She dead. She's still not. What the hell is going on? She's dead. She's actually dead. Holy shit, that felt like. That fight felt like it was 25 minutes long and it took like three years off of my life. So strong. You could do it if you had the will, but. Could you raise your nails nail once knowing its tragic conception, knowing yourself, and do it ghost of Hallonest, head onwards, burn that mark upon your shell and came your claim yourself as king. I've forgotten how to read. That was the most insane fight of this game. That was literally, I would say, the by far, except for that armored beal not even trio, but five combo, by far the most difficult boss. That was kind of insane. Cast off shell. Actually, should I even be going on? I mean, they gotta put a bench, right? They're not gonna like bamboozle me or something. Marked by King's brand. Hanonash shall recognize a new ruler. The kingdom's, ga kingdom's gates will open. What? Uh, is this shit gonna collapse? Yeah, this shit is gonna collapse. Am I dead? I'm not dead. Oh! She rescued me. Thank you. Man, that was an insane... I cannot get over that boss fight. That was insanely difficult. Insanely difficult. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're here. Man. I don't know what the hell that just did. The kingdom's gates will now open. I'm very happy about that. Uh, in terms of where that actually leaves us. I don't really know. I'm guessing we gotta go back to the City of Tears. It's like the only thing I can think of. Maybe I should go back to... I don't know. We'll go back to the City of Tears 
I don't even know what to say from here on out. Legit. Yeah. Second most difficult boss so far, I mean. It could be that this game's end bosses are like insane. I'll be stuck on them for like three years. But then again, hopefully by that time I'll be able to pick up some more HP. Actually, you know what? HP, what are they called? Mask fragments. They are very, very difficult to come by. Okay. Like, aside from the ones I've bought in the shop, I don't even... Oh, okay. How the hell do you get through that? In like a various suit or something. Which apparently... This King's Crest or whatever does not give us the various suit. Hold on just a second. So what we gotta do is... Yeah, go on alternative paths. That's the only thing I can think of that will unlock a new part of the City of Tears. I mean... There have been a couple of places... Where we had some like impassable doors, but... I'm assuming Tower of Love... Oh yeah, this is... you need like some key. Please tell me you can make it back through here. Yes, you can. In fact, I think this is what leads to... Yeah, okay. It leads to the stack station. I cannot believe that still reached me. Which is good because I would like to go back and shop around a little bit. Oh, sh oh okay, that's still blocked off. For a second I thought, I, I was like, how the hell did I miss that chest? I must be blind. But I didn't, did I? Excellente. Let's go back to Dirtmouth. And then really the only other place I can think of is down in the ancient basin. There was that whatever. Man, these two areas look similar. I was like, did I just travel back to the same place? But no, they just look hella similar. Oh, this is the map merchant. I like you, but I'm not here to see you. I am here to see you. What? Ke? What is this? Oh shit. Is it like worshipping a cult or something? So another would join our group. I have a gift for you, warrior. As a shopkeeper, I admit parting with it for free is rather difficult. But as the great, great nail sage, I must recognize your skill. You have mastered the arts of my... Oh! He is the nail master? Nail Master's glory. God damn. Mama. Mama. That's what it sounds like he says. That's pretty cool. I didn't know he was like the, the dude. Which means this is... Uh, increases the bearer's master of nail arts, allowing them... To focus their power faster and unleash arts sooner. That might actually be fairly good. It might actually, I'll, look, I'll look at what type of shit I have like stocked up here. Um, let's see, I have Gathering Swarmy, I know that one. Lashes out. Know your location, increases nail. Yeah, I think... 
Reflecting improved bear's ability to cast spells. What else do I have? Strength will increase. Slash more rapidly. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Let's go back, hopefully he... Yep. Vessel fragment, heavy blow. Hmm. Damn. We might as well buy it. I thought he had one more mask fragment. But I guess he don't. Okay. Well, I think we might as well go and see where, if anywhere, we can progress. So yeah, I don't know if I ever finished my point that this game seems kind of stingy with its mask fragments. You know, unlike Metroid, where they like shit out energy tanks for free, if you look around just a little bit, you know. This game is... This game don't do that. Not quite. Um... So yeah, I mean, the only thing I can think of in terms of King's Door is where we met her, what's her name, Hornet, previously, and she talked about something like that, As I remember her dialogue, she was talking about the... Oh yeah, that does charge quicker. Oh, do you get... Hold up. If you use these, do you get like... Whatever? Like soul or something? Yeah, this is where we met her. Oh. Maybe not. Shit. Well, the only other thing I can think of is down in the ancient basin, as I said. The question is which way is easier, just to go down or take the... Well, actually, I don't know, like, where do we need to go? Let me look at my map, my big map. we've done this. We've done Deep Nest. The Palace Ground, that's gotta be it. That has to be it. I assume what were... These were not here before, these like dark spots rising up, right? I'm assuming that what we're working towards is some way to pass through those dark barriers, you know. That seems to me like some end game level shit, you know. That that's where like I don't know what is. Okay, this is actually, like, hella useful. Because these arts are, like, useful. Uh, it's just the charge time was kind of, you know, shitty on them. But now that issue is solved. I think it would have been easier to just take the tram. The palace grounds. That's, like, it's where we gotta go, right? It's the only thing I can think of. Oh, this is cool. I don't remember this. YOLO. When was the last time anyone has used YOLO? Uh, do I not get it? <laughs> Did I just fuck up? I think I might have fucked up. 
I mean, I was like, that's the only time I'm ever going to try that. And probably the last time I'm ever going to try that. Oh, please, please tell me there's something here. There ain't gonna be anything here, is there? Just disappointment, I think. I think just disappointment. I gotta figure out where to go now, then. Because I got this whatever. What is it called? Marks the bearer as king. Halonas ancient places shall open before it. Could it be that this unlocks that whatever those like barriers? It could be. I can't think of where the closest one is. Probably at the Queen Station. Man, this is gonna be a long episode. Yeah, I'm probably like way over time. I don't actually know how much I have to cut out from fighting Hornet. It was quite long. Thinking there's one like right here somewhere. And there is a nearby thing, you know. One of those dreamers, actually, the final one. So very possible that... Oh god, I don't have the map for this area, though. Which means it's gonna be annoying. Nice. I think this just, like, sometimes... Happens now, where I just get... What is it called? Spirit points or whatever. Shit. I'm gonna do this. I don't care. We'll go over time. If I can find it. It's like here somewhere towards the entrance. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. And corn effects is here as well. Oh, come on. It's not. God damn it. Okay, well. Thanks for being extremely vague game. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea where to go. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I think we can still call this episode a success. Because we got through probably the hardest boss so far. I have a feeling it's only going to get tougher from here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll try figuring out where the hell we need to go. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this episode of Hollow Knight, make sure to, you know, do all the usual. And I'll see all of you next time. Yeah, peace out.